Okay, um, we ready to go? Um, yeah, just to start out, um, as clerk moving forward, any motions, I'll be calling out votes and recording them. Um, so. Yeah, I, I had heard that uh, the request was to do roll call votes for everything. So if you're ready to do that, that sounds good. Yes, sir. So uh, motion to open the meeting. Do you want to call roll for that or do we get a second? Second. Okay. Member Loda? Aye. Member Shannon? Aye. Member Hoffman? Aye. Member Cook? Aye. <clears throat> Chair Valistra? Aye. Motion passes. Okay. Um, all right, well, the agenda item is minutes. Um, shall we start with the really simple ones, which were June 7th? So this was a short meeting where we had um, approved uh, minutes and had some brief discussions. That was that what, 10 minute meeting? 15 minute meeting? Yeah. Something, something like that, it was a very quick meeting. Um, does anyone need more time to look at the minutes? No, I don't. Did we make this resolution? We have not done anything with that remote resolution for, uh, for a video conference and we talked about it. So that could be something on our next agenda if um, you want to track down those materials from Dorothea. Mm -hmm. um, so the two items there were getting a current copy of the open meetings law and the HPB's video conferencing resolution. If you want to get those together and we'll add them to our meeting. Do you know if we have any? Well, I guess we're not at the application deadline yet, are we? We're not at the deadline, and no, we don't have any. Okay. Yeah. So, another slow month in September. Okay. Um, any other comments on these? Did we do the complex disclosure? Um, we did not do the conflicts of interest yeah, disclosure. <laughs> um, okay. Well, does anyone have any conflicts of interest to disclose? I do not. No. Do not. No. Nope. I do not. I'm um, seeing if we just have minutes. I'm not sure <laughs> what we no, go over, but it's a fine thing to discuss. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good habit. It's a good habit. Yeah. Correct. Um, okay. Well, if no one has any revisions, I will make a motion to approve the June 7th minutes. Second. Okay, one. Paul Roll. Member Cook? Aye. Member Hoffman? Aye. Member Shannon? Aye. Member Loda? Aye. Chair Felistra? Aye. Motion passes. Okay. Um, so the next ones were, we had these resolutions from five Austin Park and five State. Um, I don't know if we want to start, I guess we might as well start with looking at these resolutions for five Austin Park. Um, I don't know if everyone's had a chance to go through, go through them or if you need more time. Plan. She said there's we need the date in there of the plans. 
Sorry. Page three of the site plan. Mm -hmm. Austin Park one of the copy that I got earlier. Was it different? They weren't in the yeah, wasn't, yeah, they were it wasn't in the original packet. No. This is a, it was in the June. In the June one. Right. So we all probably looked at these a while back um, and then yeah, haven't looked at them in a little while. Yeah. Did you need to do you have a copy now, Mindy? Austin Park? Yeah. I have two here. You can, if you want yeah, to browse through them. So other than adding, we need to add the date, the date into the site plan resolution. Thank you. Do you have any comments, Mindy? No, I don't. Thank you. Okay. Not okay. Um, then I'll make. Uh, <laughs> so if we're okay with those, I guess we should just what accept everything all in one motion, or should we do one at a time? Do one at a time. Um, all right. I'll make a motion to accept the. Resolution um, for five Austin Park uh, area variants. Start with that one. Second. I don't know if I'm Is it nine or ten? It is no. number nine. 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 That's resolution 2023 9. Number Hoffman? Aye. Member Cook? Aye. Member Shannon? Aye. Member Rhoda? Aye. Chair Brewster? Aye. Motion passes. Okay, I'll make a motion to accept a uh, resolution for, as written, for five Austin Park state plans. That's resolution 2023 10. With the date here? The date. With the date. The date was 4 25 2020. Oh, yes. Um, but um, we will amend the resolution to insert the date of the plans in there. What, what will be the date? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, to figure that, we'll have to um, okay, exactly. get, it, get it with Sorry. Steve. Uh, right. So it's either when they handed it in and you stamped it in the machine, or they plant the, the date written on the plan. I gotcha. But sometimes the date written on the plan is wrong. The resolution or, refers to a stamp. So it should be the date of the So from my understanding, are resolutions being stamped off on approval or upon that night? No, we're talking about the, the, um, the application, the site plan itself. The issue is that sometimes it's not uncommon for site plans to change from the time that they're submitted until the time that they're approved. So it's important for the board to be clear on which version of the site plan is being approved. So we want the, the submitted plan. date. We want the date that the 
last site plan that was before the board was stamped as received by the village. Understood. Thank you. You're welcome. That's why it's important to stamp those things when coming in so we can keep track of multiple versions of them. When I get my first resolution and site plan, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Um, is there a second? Second. Um, member Loda? Aye. Member Shannon? Aye. Member Hawkins? Aye. Member Cook? Aye. Chair Booster? Aye. Motion passes. Okay. So next we had resolution 11 and I didn't know what discussions this might bring up. Um, Mindy, is there anything we need to discuss before we go through this? Yeah, there's um, an error on Guerrero's uh, clause 1A. So the type two action is pursuant to 617C9 and or 617C18. And we can strike C16. Strike 16. Okay. Is that the one for li uh, line yeah. changes? Okay. Yes. And that wasn't relevant to this one. Correct. Okay. So there's that one. Mm -hmm. And um, Should there be a comment about what the uh, Monroe County planning, what their response was? Not unless the um, Monroe County uh, denied or suggested that they make changes to it. Okay. So sometimes county planning will disapprove an application mm -hmm. because it has countywide impacts for a particular reason. And if that were to happen, then uh, the board would have to pass either uh, comply with the request of county planning or overrule the city majority. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you aware of that ever happening in Monroe County? Oh golly, I can't think like, of a time that it's ever happened. And like there is a county airport scenario that was a big mess. Yeah. That had more to do with whether the county had to comply with the city zoning code and not so much as to what the conditions were going to be imposed on the site plan for the airport. Okay. Um, interesting case law there. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that's a long, balancing test. Yeah, I'm sure that's a long story for another yeah, day. Yeah. It's, it's a, Fun story for geeks. I forget to do that. I get so few phone calls. <laughs> I'm telling you all this. You answer the phone all day long. That's usually what happens to me. That was nice to call. Yes. Yeah. So why aren't you answering? It's like, I know you call. Do you have anything, Susan? I do not. Anything over there? No. 
it's all, it all doesn't really yeah. affect the matter anyway. Right, exactly. I don't have anything substantive. It's all editorial, which I think is probably just not worth our time. <laughs> you can always make wording, minor wording changes, but yeah, I, I hear you. Same. Okay, and as far as the minutes go, so if we're okay with this, I'll make a, a motion to um, adopt the written resolution 2023-11 as drafted. I'll second. That's, that's the, by the way, that's the five state street site plan. Mm -hmm. Member Cook? Aye. Member Hoffman? Aye. Member Rhoda? Aye. Member Shannon? Aye. Anybody? Minor editorial. No, yeah. Nothing substantive. Okay. Anything worth putting in there? Or? No. Okay. Yeah. We're going to publish it, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. no, I don't think there's anything that's going to make it significant. Okay. Any impact. Yeah, I have no, no substantive issues. Could then? I just wondered if we were going to uh, refer to the valid trash agreement and the easement as the same thing. Um, what we did you want? So um, on two, um, the one, two, three, four, five, six paragraph on the bottom, the architect discussed the plan. The previously approved businesses each had access to the dumpsters via the easement. Well, it's just a representation that he made. That, okay. Right. Yeah. So it's not. It's not a. You're not. You're not incorporating that. Okay. I mean, that's just right. a comment that he. It's in public. I would put that in the in the bucket of public comment. Okay. Yeah, I think the comment in there is that it's 
and the trash was an issue between the two property owners and they needed to resolve it. Yeah, no, I just wondered if referring to the one as an easement and the second one as a as an agreement. Right. If that meant anything. Well, we can revise it just to specify that the applicant states that the previous three food businesses on State Street each had access to the dumpster via the easement. That would certainly clarify the concern. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think that's a good change. Okay, so we'll revise that that paragraph as Mindy suggested. And I'm good. And is it the second paragraph here that we're revising or right here? Okay. It's the second one. Yeah, where it starts with the architect discuss the plan for trash removal. Okay. So the third sentence in that paragraph says the applicant states that the previously approved businesses each had access to the dumpsters. Okay, um, if that's our only change, I'll make a motion to adopt the April 25th minutes as amended. Second. Member Loda? Aye. Member Shannon? Aye. Member Hoffman? Aye. Member Cook? Aye. Chair Wiestra? Aye. Motion passes. Woohoo! Okay. All right, well, that takes care of our business. I'm planning on going. What is the date? I am as well. The date is uh, August 10th, 230. Oh, 230. I plan to attend. Mm -hmm. Well, a few of us might attend. You can attend or not, Mike, it's up to you. Yeah, it's open to the public. Yeah, yeah, right. I just wanted to make sure somebody's going to be there, so you're going to be there. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like a few of us would like to go. So. Mm -hmm. It's been a while. It's been a while. We haven't had a meeting in a while. <laughs> We haven't had an application in a, since we've been in court. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I think it's now five months without an application. Hmm. A long time. A long time. And uh, I talked to the building inspector a couple weeks ago, and he said things are pretty slow with interest rates going up and yeah. uh, concerns of things like that. I guess the uh, price of financing and the cost of construction are yeah. working out for people. Yeah. So, Makes sense. Yeah. Um, is there any other business you would like to discuss? I assume we're going to call in the current attorney client session after the meeting. Yes. I don't have anything. I have none. Okay. Um, all right. I'll make a motion to. Oh, okay. Just to make sure for the September meeting, the only items would be um, you want to see the open meeting law and the board of trustees resolutions for open meeting, right? Correct? No, no. no the HPB. HPB, HPB resolution. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for clarifying that. Thank you for asking the question. Yeah. So, plus whatever applications come in. And I don't know if, um, just I guess a couple, we haven't, don't have a trustee here, um, but I know the trustees are working on some proposed legislation for a few things. I don't know much about it. They just adopted a moratorium on short term rentals. And they're starting to look into regulations for that. Um, I think they created a committee, is that right? Okay. Yeah. To, to do that, and I don't know what the status of that is, but I guess there'll be something going on with that in the future. 
I also heard they're thinking of um, a law to regulate um, trees, to give better protections to trees on private property. And I don't know, um, I guess they're in the early stages of discussing what they're going to do with that. Um, I don't know of anything else going on that's so much interest. But I guess there's always something going on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add to that. Um, so Mike Reynolds, the family that owns 5 State Street, um, we're actually going to be submitting a rezoning request to the trustees. So their next meeting, um, they'll address it. But based on those code, I understand they'll get kicked to you for recommendations. So that would be something that would be, I'm just giving you a, giving you a heads up. That's, that's, that's most coming. OK, so you're, that's a rezoning request. OK. okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you submitted that yet? No, I uh, plan on draft form, so it'll be submitted before Monday's uh, deadline. Uh -huh. Okay. Yep, yeah, good. Um, all right, well, I'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. And call roll. Mm -hmm. um, number Hoffman? Aye. Member Cook? Aye. Member Shannon? Aye. Member Rhoda? Aye. Chair Reistra? Aye. Motion passes. Okay. Thanks, everyone. And um, thank you for letting us know what's going on there. <laughs> yeah. Well, it sounds like we may have an application to look at in the future at some point.